ChatGPT, I love Muddy Buddies or reindeer food. Can you create an even more peanut buttery and delicious recipe for them? Something even better than what's on the box? Creating a more peanut buttery and delicious version of Muddy Buddies, also known as reindeer food, sounds like a delightful idea. Here's a recipe that enhances the peanut butter flavor and overall richness. Merry Chexmas! Is that a thing? <laughs> Chex Christmas, I think it is. Today we're gonna cook Muddy Buddies or reindeer food or, oh, there's another name for them. Oh, Puppy Chow, Monkey Munch, Reindeer Chow, Chex Mix Muddy Buddies, Dog Food, Trash. These are all names for what we're cooking today. I've got several amazing Chex Mix videos on this channel, but I never have done one about Muddy Buddies. I grew up calling them Muddy Buddies, so we'll probably call them Muddy Buddies throughout this. Maybe call it Reindeer Chow a little bit. Either way, I didn't wanna just simply take the recipe off the back of the box, which it is there, checks Muddy Buddies. I wanted to amp it up and really bring the, the peanut buttery goodness to light. And we asked ChatGPT and I'm so grateful it recommended a couple of cool additions to this recipe that could make it better than any in the past. So let's try it out. All right, so for the nine cups of cereal, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do some rice, some corn. You can just do your favorite. One, two, three, four of rice checks. Drop the couple. And then we'll go ahead and do three corn checks. One, two, three. Is that right? Four plus three, I just totally mathed wrong, didn't I? I should do five of corn checks. At least I didn't record my embarrassing math flub. Four, five. Okay, so now we have nine cups of checks cereal in there. All right, so now we wanna get the chocolate melted. So we need a cup and a half of semi-sweet chocolate chips and put those in a microwave safe bowl and spill them all over the counter. It's important that you spill them all over the counter so that you then later have to pick them all up. That's, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I do my best. Well, I don't know if I do my best. I do my fastest. It's like your best, but faster. All right, half a cup of chocolate chips. Pop that in there too. Beautiful. Don't let the dogs get the chocolate chips. We also need, this might not be a big enough microwave safe bowl, honestly. Maybe it will. Uh, I think I need a bigger one. Hold on. Remember, we're going peanut butter crazy in this recipe, so you're about to see much larger measurements of peanut butter than you're used to. First of all, we need a cup and a half of peanut butter. Normally, these recipe calls for, this recipe calls for like three quarters of a cup. We get a cup and a half of peanut butter as well, and I'm just gonna put that into my same dry measuring cup. It's gonna be like this whole jar, I feel. This might make the consistency different, going so crazy on the peanut butter. What in the world? Is there only one cup of peanut butter in this thing? It's a heaping cup, hold on. All right, so there's one cup of peanut butter. Gracious me. This is gonna be insane. Yeah, this is probably a cup and a half, hold on. Let's put it in here. Basically a whole jar of Skippy is what we're doing, guys. By the time this is all said and done, it's gonna be a whole jar. Yeah, a whole jar of Skippy, guys. Look, it's easy. Skippy, I'm just putting the whole jar in. A cup and a half of chocolate chips. Uh, one pound thing of Skippy. Skippy, Skippy. It makes me think of the Skip Bow commercial. Do you remember, no, Skip It. Skip it. Skip bow is a card game. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Try to beat your very best score. Peanut butter is so good. So good. I love me some peanut butter. If you're watching this, you're a peanut butter lover too. If you're allergic to peanut butter, don't cook this. We're also supposed to add butter, a half a cup, which a half cup is a whole stick. So we're gonna add a whole stick of butter in there too. No one ever called these healthy, guys. Uh, we'll do healthier recipes next week. We'll, we'll, we're gonna go keto for a week or two, I think, in the next few videos. But today, it's still Christmas season. <laughs> Let's microwave it. Intervals of 30 seconds. So the first 30 is happening. Once that comes out, we'll stir it up and we'll keep throwing it in for 30 seconds till it's smooth. <sighs> There's this whole Ziploc bag portion of this that I don't really love doing, but I'm gonna get some Ziploc bags. I think we're gonna need two of them, but maybe one. We'll take two out. All right, 30 seconds has elapsed. Uh, nothing's really happened. Well, yeah, at the bottom, some of the chocolate chips have started to soften a little bit, but we're definitely going in for another 30 and we're gonna keep doing it. Okay, 30 more seconds have elapsed. So we're gonna stir it again. Oh, look, see, now it's starting to really look like something super peanut buttery, super good. That is really peanut butter forward, isn't it? That might be done, honestly. No, there's still too many chunks. I think we need 30 more seconds and that'll be it. I'm stirring it pretty hard here. I don't even know, 30 seconds might be too much. Let's do it 30 more and then we're calling it done. All right, 30 more seconds. Let's take a look here. I think this is gonna be golden. Oh, it looks so good. It's gonna be very peanut buttery. But don't worry, we've got even more fun things to add to this. Get it nice and stirred. Okay, now we're gonna pour this onto the cereal. Uh, like so, satisfaction. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing. 
I'm so excited about this. Let me get a spatula. Can you feel the excitement in the air? Can you feel it? I can, wait, no, it's, can you feel the love tonight? The love for peanut butter. All right, stir this up. Get it all coated in chocolatey delights. Oh yeah. Now, I know you're asking yourselves, does anyone really need this much peanut butter? The answer is yes. Yes, I need this much peanut butter. And I need it today. And the exciting thing is, I'm gonna have it today. Okay, and you should have it today too. Treat yourself. So we're gonna put this into a Ziploc bag, right? Right, am I right? Yes. And this is the part I don't like, because I don't know how to do it without making a mess, because uh, I'm Dave. Guys, I'm Dave. Maybe a spoon. Let me try a spoon. Like a mega spoon, and try to put it into the bag. I almost need someone to hold the bag for me. Kind of working. Kind of, sort of. It's gonna take forever, though. Can I pour it in? My bowl is so big that I feel like pouring it in won't work. I'm gonna try to pour it in. There's, there's no way this can go poorly, right? You pour things, it can't go poorly when you pour things. See what I did there? That was a dad joke. Poorly. <laughs> Guys, it might be working. <sighs> this is stressful. But this is what I mean, the bag's like already full. All right, well, we're all right, we're all right. We're doing okay. Can you feel? Now I have Lion King stuck in my head. Here comes the copyright strike. I don't think I'm at any risk of that with my singing voice. Okay, here we go. It's in there. Mama always said, life is like a bag of chocolate. <laughs> All right, so I've got my powdered sugar. My powdered sugar, which it'll be no surprise to you guys, is a bit of a mess. Um, it's in a Ziploc. I probably should have gotten rid of the original bag when I did this. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some cups of powdered sugar. We're gonna do one cup first, okay? We're gonna close it up and then we're gonna shake it around. Like so. You actually need a lot more powdered sugar, but I thought this might help loosen it up in the bag if I do one at a time. Let's add another cup down in this corner here. Two. There we go. Seal it up and shake it around. Take one down, shake it around. 99,000 calories in this bag. <laughs> How many calories, seriously, are in this? We should ask. Chat GPT, how many calories we're talking here? Cause it's, it's not healthy. Yeah, it's three cups. We need one more full cup of powdered sugar. And we're not done adding deliciousness to this guys. Deliciosity will continue. One more cup of powdered sugar, throw it in there and do one more little shakeroo. What do you call it? Puppy chow, reindeer food, muddy buddies. Like I said, my house. Actually, my mom might have called it Puppy Chow. I do have some sort of recollection of that name too from my childhood. It rings some sort of nostalgia bell. I almost want to put it in a new bag to really continue the stirring process. But I don't know. I've got this other bag. It would make it easier for us to see what's going on in there. Would it be regrettable? Yeah, let's do it. Should we do it? No, maybe not. I may not need to. See, there's some big chunks in here. See the big chunks there that are like stuck together? That's one of the concerns of having so much peanut butter. I just feel like the powdered sugar didn't get spread far enough. I'm gonna pour some in another bag to try to get an idea of if we got enough powdered sugar in there. See, this is what I'm concerned about. This sort of thing here, where you've got huge segments that are not sugary. I mean, you can always add more powdered sugar too. I'm gonna add a little more powdered sugar, like a half a cup. I'm gonna add a little more to this bag. Now that I've got a little more space and a little more to this bag, to try to make sure I get powdered sugar on every, every bite. All right, so we need chopped up Reese's peanut butter cups is our next thing. I guess we should have done this in the beginning. It doesn't really matter though. We need one cup of chopped peanut butter cups. Cause why not guys? We're not here to lose weight on this video. We're here to have a delicious, delicious Christmas time snack. I mean, I'm telling you, make these at your next Christmas party and you will be the star of the show. I wanna get one cup. I'm just gonna use this measuring cup I used for the powdered sugar. Be one or two more. All right, plop these out on your cutting board and just chop them up. It also says you could use Reese's Pieces if you prefer those, which would be a fine option. So I'm just gonna take half of these and put them in each bag here, because I got it in two bags now. Half go in there, and the other half go in here. So now we have peanut butter cups, and then one last ingredient, peanuts. Peanuts, dry roasted peanuts. It says crushed, 
don't know if I'm gonna crush them. I feel like we just put them in like this. You could crush them if you want. I'm probably not going to. Quarter cup in each bag. So half a cup total, quarter cup there, quarter cup there, and then shake them up again. Get it all mixed. Same with the other one. It says to pour them out on a cookie sheet to let them dry. So we're just gonna do that. And pour it out onto a cookie sheet and kind of see the nuts in there. Definitely have some big chunks here and there. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Look at that. It's like boulders. It's like nutty boulders, muddy, muddy boulders. All right, there you go. That's funny. Look at this one. <laughs> eh, well, whatever. It's something new, guys. It's a new thing. You basically could tell people it's like a rock garden and then they go eat it and they're like, oh my gosh, this is not a rock garden. This is amazing. Peanut butter cups are like hiding in there with powdered sugar on them. So let's try these. I'm gonna try a big boulder and I'm gonna get a peanut butter cup and a peanut with it. Wow, that is so peanut buttery. Now, it says if you really wanna top it off, you could take peanut butter drizzle, warm it up and pour it over it too. You'd have to be a real peanut butter holic to do that. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> oh, I don't even wanna think about how many calories are in this, but be honest if i was gonna make something this like wild for like a party or something i would totally go to the next level I'd put reese's pieces on it i drizzle some peanut butter on it why not go all in let's try like a little small one it was fantastic if you like muddy buddies try this recipe you know if if you want you could do a one and a quarter cup of peanut butter i did one and a half i love the peanut butter cups hiding there's one stuck to that some little nuts in it mm. Definitely the best Muddy Buddies I've ever had. 10 out of 10 on the Deliciosity scale. Thank you guys for coming. Make sure you subscribe. That helps me out. We'll see you next time.